To make plastic from milk, what we need to do is we need to take the stuff that's in the milk out that makes the plastic. The stuff that makes plastic is casein. Casein is the protein found in milk. And we're going to precipitate it out. We're going to be using vinegar, which is a mild acid, to separate the whey from the curds in the milk. As we begin this series, now is a good time to point out something that you'll want to get in the habit of doing uh, to become a good experimenter, okay? And something called mise en place. That's French for everything in place. So as you see here, I have everything in place. I have my milk, I have my measuring cup, I have my vinegar, and we don't need much, so I'm going to use this. And I have a little storage container that I'm going to use to pour the solution into and let it do its magic. Okay? So let's get started. Okay. To begin the process of precipitating the cassian from milk, begin with fat-free milk. If you don't use fat-free milk, you will need to um, remove the fat before you have a pure, high-quality, good-grade cassian. Uh, you would need to do additional rinses with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, to get the fat out. So I'm going to start with fat-free milk to save that process. I'm going to start with one cup of milk. and a quarter teaspoon of vinegar. The vinegar doesn't need to be exact. Uh, as you learn, you will see you may need to add additional vinegar to uh, help the uh, casting separate from the uh, <clears throat> whey. All right, now I'm going to hold it up, and as you can see in the bottom, you see how the clumps are beginning to separate from the whey. I'm going to give this uh, an hour or two to uh, fully precipitate out. So I'm going to cover it, we're going to leave it, and uh, rejoin in a little while. And here we are, folks. Now there's your cassian. And what you see now is the setup for the next step. And what do we do? Mise en place. Everything in place. I have the milk. I have a couple of containers for pouring off the, uh, the whey. And then another container for uh, washing the cassian. I have a strainer. I have some cheesecloth. But you can also use a coffee filter. And I have a container of water. What we're going to do now is we're going to pour off the cassian, and you will see. Okay. Squeeze out the excess. It's rather apropos here. I'm using cheesecloth. And cheesecloth was actually invented for just such a thing. Uh, cheese making is a very similar process. Where what they want are the curds from the milk to begin the cheese. Making. Now 
Now once you've squeezed out just as much as you can here, what we're going to do is we're going to wash it. And the reason you want to wash it is you want to, uh, you want to wash out the vinegar. What we've done is we've precipitated milk to extract the cassian using an acid. Now we want to wash it so we can neutralize that acid because when we make bioplastics we're going to come back with an alkaline. And the alkaline is going to dissolve the cassian to form the polymer chain. And here are the larger clumps of the cassian. And this is what we're going to wash. Okay? Again, we're going to uh, use the cheesecloth and we're going to pour the water into a larger bowl to neutralize the vinegar, which is an acid. It's acetic acid. Let that filtrate. As you can see, the water is not completely clear. Uh, so what you'll want to do is you'll want to continue to wash until your water is completely clear. Okay. And what you should end up with at the end of this is a high quality cassian that you can dry. And in the next video, we're going to turn this cassian into a bioplastic. And here we are, folks. Cassian precipitated from milk with ordinary vinegar. Now, uh, you may want to do what I did while I was waiting for the uh, chemistry to do its thing. It looks so good and cold and refreshing. I put a milk face on. Thank you for watching. Now in the next video we're going to take this cast in and we're going to use another chemical process where we're going to dissolve the cast in into polymer chains to make bioplastics. See you soon.